Everyone, I'm Go ahead and hit subscribe or follow, whether you're following me on YouTube or Instagram. Today, I'm going to do a video on my everyday carry. I'm going to do a pocket dump, literally take everything out of my pockets that I use on an everyday basis. Things that I never leave my house without, things that I really do use, guys. Things that come in handy on a daily basis, things that you, you should carry. I actually want to influence you to uh, carry these things in your pocket and you so you can see how they really come in handy guys so remember to hit like leave me a comment follow my page subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys i really hope this was the last take i can't get the focus this is the olight m1t raider olight m1t raider this has either five lumens or 500 lumens it's so whatever setting you want it uh, runs CR123 batteries it's uh, IPX waterproof whatever that means right uh, it would cost me about $40 about two years ago and it weighs about 2.4 ounces and it is 3.75 inches long this has a double loop clip so you can attach this on your cap and you can use it as a as a headlight uh, so this is pretty cool I mean it's simple just press the end cap and it gives either one of the two settings and it's just simple I usually keep it in my front pocket of the 511 pants and that's about it guys uh, the CR123 battery uh, does uh, go out really quick so if you were to get like a little rechargeable pack of these batteries it would be probably better for you uh, financially so like I said I've got this two years ago oh so the 500 lumens they shine up to 100 yards this night ice slide lock carabiner keychain this is pretty cool I mean it's not like a real really like for climbing of course it says that here but it does hold up to 25 pounds or 11 kilograms this is the number three and the cool part about this it has like a lanyard i guess a flat lanyard so what i do is i clip this on the my pant pockets and then it sits on the belt loop like this and then I tuck these into my waistband on the inside. So, I mean, nobody can see the keys. The keys never dangle. I never hear them like ringing during the day, which is kind of what I hate. Because the other thing that I didn't show you that's in my pocket is like the key to my vehicle. So I just keep this separate from these keys because I hate like dangling keys. I hate to sound like the janitor coming down the hallway, right? So I keep that separate in my pocket, which I didn't show you that in my pocket dump, but that's the way it goes. And I just uh, really minimalist about my keys. Uh, key to here to the station, key to the house, and a key to the safe, and that's it. And then this slide lock lever. So once you put it on the belt loop, if I slide this slide lock down, uh, it'll prevent it from opening the actual clip. And that's pretty cool, because that kind of just secures that this clip is not gonna fall out of my pocket. And I also like use this on basketball shorts whenever like uh, I'm just using back basketball shorts around the house and we go to the store real quick and I need to lock, lock up. And then so I'll put it on my basketball shorts just like on the waistband and then it'll crimp the material of the shorts or the elastic band part and I'll still do the slide lock and that way I'll kind of know that it's not going to fall out of there. And I still tuck them into my pants because I hate the whole dangling thing or to have them on the side and I usually wear this on the front side of my pants like on the right loop the f the right front loop right next to the appendix carry holster and I try to like push it away from the handle of my gun because I don't want it to like scratch it or just be jingling and jangling there so that's this is the night ice carabiner slide lock clip number three and it's pretty cool uh, if I would need to buy like another one or if I would need to create this same lanyard effect I would do so because this has been like my best setup for the key so far. So next for you guys is this Ozark trail knife It was five dollars at Walmart. This is actually like the second one I buy because these screws uh, Fell out 
on the one that I have bought prior and I was gonna lock tight them and put them back into place but I just really haven't had time and I just didn't, never really focus on it on that uh, it is a frame lock it has a frame lock here so that's the way it locks so whenever you want to put it back into a uh, storing position or back into your pocket you have to squeeze this lever and then it just uh, folds back it has like these thumb knobs I guess so you can open it that way and also has a also has a flip lever which you never really it doesn't have enough weight to flip all the way open it doesn't have any assist to help it flip open but if you kind of flick your wrist you can get it into the full open position it has a long deep pocket clip well sort of long it's mm, three quarters of the way so it does fit deep in your side pocket so I usually carry this on my right pocket um, and that's about it a little five dollar folder from Walmart it's a beater upper I sharpen it about every time I remember and it cuts everything that I need and it's pretty cool I mean it's lightweight like I had said in the intro I don't like to have too much weight in my pockets because it does weigh your pants down so this is usually my everyday carry I know if you've seen me carry other knives which I do but I mean for five dollars it's a beater upper if I really have to like pry something or damage the knife I won't feel bad about it and I could just go out and get another one which I said I already have like a, uh, several of these so it's no biggie it has a little bit of grip here uh, somewhat of a stipple effect and that's about it guys I mean you could put a lanyard if you need to and that's it so my wallet I've used several minimalist wallets I was using like a fossil leather one just like this and it was really good but I kinda like wore it out cause I sweat a lot and that thing just took a beating the thread started falling out so I switched to this one I don't even think this is on the this is a hellbent holsters combat wallet uh, I don't remember the edition cause I know right now they're at like 2.5 and 3.0 which includes like a belt a money clip which I don't like because it's just really thick I mean no offense to help bent holsters like this one was really good but I think it's they actually discontinued it so that's that so in here I just carry my license one debit and two business cards one for the company I work with and one for my personal just my personal business for promoting uh, Instagram YouTube and just um, everything else that I do which that's not what the video is about uh, I keep these sharpie pens I've used a, a, several other pens in the past but this is just kind of like what we stumbled upon I guess me and my wife uh, bought these pens and then we ended up like really liking them they write really small fine print and I like that like if I was taking notes if I was on the phone so I was taking some notes right of a class that I was taking online and then just like everything fit on here like my login information uh, notes that I had to take I mean it's not much but so I could write really fine print with this this is actually the sharpie pen fine and it's acts like the marker I don't know if you guys seen the ultra fine I think it is uh, would I think that one kind of bleeds through the paper uh, the thing with this one uh, I don't like that it has a cap if it was like a push pen it would be really cool especially like you go out on a call and you need to take notes like it's not practical for you to grab your dirty glove hands and take the cap off and write your notes vital signs or whatever patient information it would be really optimum if it had like the push cap but it doesn't so that's kind of like a con uh, the color does become faint after like writing a lot with it but since I have several ones and I kind of grab like a new one or a different one every day I guess that kind of puts it into rotation and the 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 ink doesn't really faint as much as when I was using the one pen every day I noticed that the ink became faint pretty quick uh, when you write on paper these really don't bleed to the next paper and like I said they write pretty small so like I like them I like them that they're just like another like a sharpie like a like a sharpie marker and you could write anywhere that you would be able to write with the marker you can write with these and you can use them simultaneously as a pen so that's what I like about these it's a pen and a marker in all in one 
So I I know in my uh, Instagram I showed that I use uh, an orange marker sometimes. Uh, and that's the color doesn't really it's not like a priority that's just what I grabbed out of my wife's uh, pack and and when I don't have that marker when I'm out on the road and I don't really want to take that big bulgy marker I just take one of these pens and I could write anywhere just like I, if, I would ha if I were to have a marker so you can also find these in the Sharpie art pen and they come in like 12 and 16 packs of assorted colors and they're more like artisty but yeah this is what i use for writing on a daily basis and what i carry with me uh everywhere i go especially with like the rona and you just don't know where people have been and like they ask you to sign something and then they hand you over their pen and i don't really like to grab anybody's pen so i just like use my own so so yeah guys i also carry this lip balm because it was like cold season and my light my lips get really chapped and dry so that's pretty self explanatory Where's my holster? As far as my holster is concerned, right now I'm using this uh, TX holster X1 with the concealment wing. Um, the contour has is contoured in the back to help conceal the gun handle it pushes it towards your body uh, and like i said it has a concealment wing so it has this open top for suppressor height sights which um, could make it i guess weak in a sense but it doesn't really collapse uh, also i was talking to a gun holster custom gun holster manufacturer uh, he was kind of explaining to me how this might not be real Kydex. There's another name for that. And I didn't really do the research before doing this video. Because the video was more of a pocket dump video and not a review of this holster. These nuts sometimes come loose. So I have to be kind of manually tightening them, tightening, tightening them. This concealment wing fell off initially. So I had to contact the manufacturer, which is TXC Holsters, which you can find them on Instagram. And they just sent me a replacement real quick. It didn't even take like a week. So shout out to them. Um, oh, something that I kind of uh, would like a little bit more of, if this could be a little uh, higher so the holster can sit a little lower. Because I'd like for the handle to kind of blend in with the belt. And that would have kind of helped with the whole concealment. As far as, as right now, what is happening is that, I mean, yeah, it's pretty flush. I mean, the belt would sit here and then the handle of the gun still has some play. So if you were to put this belt loop around here, then it would sit pretty flush in comparison with the belt. And I think that would help conceal, conceal a little bit better. But other than that, I really don't have no problems because this is like a micro gun. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't expect mm, many concealment issues anyways. So, I'm pretty content with this holster. Would I buy another one from them? From them? I think I would try some other holsters at this point. But, yeah. So, some other things that are not on my person but are in this Columbia fanny pack which is always close to me even though they're not in my pocket and in here things that i wanted to point out first is this leatherman wave which i always have nearby like always i make i make sure that this thing is always close to me even though it's not in my pocket because the reason i don't have it in my pocket is because it really weighs my pants down like all that extra stuff and then this and it's like no but i do keep it cl close by in my vehicle or just kind of right next to me everywhere I go. I leave this bag kind of in the area. Uh, because these come like super in handy. It's a multi-tool. The thing that I use most from this is the pliers. And second would be the screwdrivers. And I probably would never. I never really use the knife from these. Because I'm just kind of afraid that they break. From experience. But also I was probably prying something. Uh, I've probably never used like the bottle opener from this because like I just open bottles anywhere. 
Uh, the clip is pretty cool. Like when I'm when I am having it in use and I'm using it like for the moment, I'll put it in my back pocket and I'll let this clip come into play and just kind of hold on there. It's kind of loose. I wish it would be a little tighter. I could probably crimp it with some other pliers, pliers, and it would probably suffice. And actually, this is not the Leatherman Wave. This is the Leatherman Sidekick. I have like several. So this is a sidekick. And I just keep it in its little pouch so it doesn't scratch up my other stuff. In this pocket, the next will be like the extra mag that I have for the gun that I'm carrying. And I keep it just over here just for the same reason because I don't like to have my pants really heavy uh, weighing me down at the belt. Other things that I have in here is like my field notes. So whenever I have like a car or something, like I know I can grab this and just write down any notes I have. I have like my hunting license in here. <clears throat> Keep uh, mostly always carry appendix, or if I'm out like at the ranch doing stuff, I carry four o'clock on my strong side. This way, what I was telling you guys about putting the keys inside my pants like this. So that way they don't jingle and jangle, and then I just secure them with the slide lock. And this is like for the keys, but I never really use it because I like this method better. It kind of fits flat. Also, my flashlight and my pen I always carry in this side. In this little pocket right here. I carry my pen here, and my knife always goes here. For easy access. I also have my uh, vehicle key in this pocket and my wallet is in this pocket and then of course and that's it guys over here I think I have like my mask and that's it also ADC watch every day I never leave home without my watch So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, it's it's kind of difficult sometimes for me to like record. I really wish I had like a cameraman. Maybe one day I'll be uh, really pro and I'll have a cameraman with me at all times. But till then, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, subscribe, follow, like, and till next video, guys. Have a good night. Super tired. I'm gonna go to sleep already. I was supposed to make this video like in the morning, but uh, some stuff came up, and here I am at 21, 29, guys, making this video for you guys, as promised. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Thanks for all the commenting. Thanks for uh, participating in the Monday EMT quiz. I really appreciate that, guys, and see you next time.